Hey guys, Red Llama here. So in today's video, we're gonna take a look at the 24 hour status of this grow tent that uh, I had put together with my son. And uh, we had put in two exhaust ports to this, eight inches. We have two inlets, one eight inch and one six inch here. And you can see that this thing is really bowed in quite a bit. So if you can picture that, it's like about six, no, it's like eight inches uh, bowed in uh, on this side. Same thing on this side here. On this side, it's not so much because there is a, uh, the duct work here on this side, but yeah, this thing's been going on for 24 hours and uh, the temperature in this room is about 68 degrees. We have about 4,400 watts on this, on uh, all the rigs that are in here. And if we open it up, there's only three, three rigs in here. This has got a bunch of 30 series cards here on the top. Below is uh, 30, 70 series cards. 3060 and uh, supers, 1660 supers. There is this uh, 2000 watt power supply that's powering the majority of these cards here. There is a ATX power supply that's powering the motherboard and two cards there. And there's a 12, uh, 1200 uh, power supply powering a, uh, I think it's two cards only. So, and we have this little rake right here which is a riseless motherboard with a bunch of 6600 XTs and the temperature in this tent gets up to 93 degrees all right guys just to recap this is the grow tent that's updated so we can see what's inside open it all right and basically what we have is the two rigs like we just talked about there's another rig on this side over here. And again, there's two exhaust ports here and here. One is pointed uh, upwards, so we can see it this way in the cross section. Uh, one is pointed this way, and then this other one is pointed downwards. And the reason I did it this way is so if there's any hot air coming up directly from a cards upwards, it would be sucked in through here. And then if anything got in this region over here and was blown up to the pitch of the of the roof it would get sucked through in this side now in the future i think i wouldn't want to change this so it's on the direct top portion here on both sides but we'll see when we get there and another thing is this is the eight inch here that's coming down and then over to the back of the rigs here so it can be all sucked in all the cool air this way and then once it gets here it gets thrown up in the air uh, up higher because the hot air will, will rise and go out the vents. And uh, it's been working out pretty good. I mean, these cards are running a lot cooler than, than before. So this is the rig on the bottom portion. So that's uh, the rig here are these cards here. So there's 12 cards here. And everything's been pretty steady for this past 24 hours. And then if we go to here, the stats actually. 24 hours, we can see everything has been pretty steady except for recently. I think it's because I, uh, I closed the door so it wasn't getting in more air into that laundry room. So I opened it back up and it should be dropping soon. And then if we take a look at the rig on the top, which is uh, pulling in a lot more hash power. Uh, again, this is again, it, it's this rig here on the top that is doing pretty well, too. It's at 65 degrees on the core on the hottest card, and that's been pretty steady over over time. I mean, if I go to uh, the stats on this one, same thing, you can see it's been pretty steady this whole time. And you can see a little bit jump over here tiny bit but I think it's because the door again was closed and if we go to 
the 6600 XTs. You could see again, uh, the temperatures are pretty good. Hash rate is, isn't dropping or affected by it. And if we go to stats, uh, the temperature has been pretty good on that as well. So overall, for the past 24 hours, temperatures in this rig has been pretty steady. The design is okay for now, or sufficient for now. And uh, in the future, I definitely want to make some changes to it. Again, these vents, uh, exhaust ports on the top, and maybe uh, change it so there's some holes cut out on the bottom, and maybe have four like large fans on the bottom here pointed upwards and then have these rigs raised up a little bit higher that way they could pull in all that air through the cards up into the exhaust ports but we'll see if that we'll see if we need to get that far if i get more rigs more cards i think i will need to do that to keep the temperature below 100 degrees please hit the like button subscribe if you want to see more content like this and uh, keep on helping me grow this channel. I uh, appreciate every single one of you who uh, who view and leave comments. And I mean, it's uh, it's pretty cool uh, interacting with each one each one of you guys. And uh, yeah, if you ever need help, just reach out. Um, if I don't know, which most likely I don't, I I can reach out to someone else or point you in the right right direction. All right, guys. So that's it. I'll see you guys. Take care.